Hello, BookTube. I'm Peg, the Book Prize Addict. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Here to tell you about some exciting reading plans I have for this coming week and uh, this long weekend. Now it is Memorial Day on Monday here in the uh, States, but it really doesn't, long weekends are kind of meaningless now with every day being a weekend, especially for me to retired. But anyway, I always like to have a special something to read when I know a lot of other people are going to be reading and reporting on things they read on the, on the long weekends of reading. So first of all, I am so excited about a coup I pulled off with a brand new book that just came out on Tuesday from my library. It's called Rodham. It is the story. It's by Curtis Sittenfield, who's written many enjoyable books. Uh, this, of course, is about, oh, is it real dark? Yeah, it gets dark when I put that up. Okay, you've seen it. It's a terrible picture anyway. It's a picture of a young Hillary. Um, Kurt, Curtis Sittenfield has written a lot of really good books, uh, literary type novels. And she wrote one on Laura Bush, a fictionalized story of Laura Bush. So this one is on, guess who? Hillary. Um, and I, I know I know right off that it's an alternate history. And in this one, she does not marry Bill Clinton, but goes on to lead another life. And uh, I started it, and, and I just can't wait to get reading on it. So I thought maybe I could talk to some other people into reading it and see what you all think. Um, I have to tell you, I, I put... My library happened to put it up on their uh, encore for ebooks right away when it came out, but I was like fifth on the list for it, and I thought it would be weeks before I got it, but I got it. They have a deal where the people before you get a chance to get it, and if they want to delay theirs till another time, in other words, if they've gotten too many at one time, they can. So evidently, the five or six people in front of me delayed their checkout until later and all of a sudden last night it came up do you want this now and I said yes and I'm so excited about this now I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about Hillary Bill and probably all the presidents we've had here though we've all changed our comparison level lately but uh, I want to tell you what I heard is the best thing about this I uh, read a review by Ron Charles in the Washington Post and another one I forgot who it was by they say the very best part is the character that she runs into a rich uh, real estate man called Trump and his uh, characterization they say it's just the best thing in the book these are all going away now okay let's get back to them. anyway so that's got to be good now she must have written it before the plague started so it's bad enough then I wonder what she'll have to have to say now Anyway, the other thing I want to start on for the week is a new prize list that came out uh, called the Encore Prize. It's put on by the Royal Society of London, which also sponsors uh, the Ondace Prize, which is for novels with the most uh, atmosphere and scenery. And I love that. I love ones that take you away and you can feel where you are. This one is for the second book by uh, an author and uh, supposed to be for literary fiction. And that's kind of a fun thing. I'm not that crazy about debuts usually, but the second book sounds good and it's funny. All five of these, I'm gonna list them below, I have never heard of. Uh, and I started one, I three of them are on script, if you get script free, and uh, two of them are, um, I'm, I will have to buy, but right now I'm reading the samples and they all look good. But I wanted to tell you about, I started one called The Good Times. Oh, this is just terrible. Okay, this is about the Irish um, problems, and it has a group of guys, uh, and it's just uh, crazy, but good. Here it has them dressed up as Mickey Mouse. Um, it's funny, uh, it's tragic, and uh, I haven't gotten that far yet, but that's one of them. And another one I'm looking forward to, I'm, I'm going to try to read all five of them this week and compare them next week. It's called My Coney Island Baby by Billy O'Callaghan, and this actually has to do with a married with a couple. They're both married to somebody else, man and woman, who meet every month, I think, at Coney Island in a seedy motel, and the story of that sounds kind of good. Um, anyway, so I'll leave a link below. Please take a look at the rest of them, and I'd love it if somebody else would read it and tell me what you think about these. 
by next week or uh, or Rodham. Uh, I'm going to head for it now. Okay, thanks for listening. Happy reading. Bye.